Hello everyone, my name is Sammy and today I am going to talk to you about the exchange rate. More specifically, what factors can cause it to change. But before we get into that, we first need to talk about what exactly is the exchange rate. The exchange rate is basically how much your money is worth, oops, is worth in a foreign currency. For example, let's say you're traveling from the US to one of the countries in Europe that still uses the euro. When you go to exchange your US dollars for euros, for every one US dollar that you give them, you'll get 0.89 euros in return. Upon returning from your trip, each one of those euros that you didn't spend are worth 1.12 US dollars. In other words, this right here was your exchange rate. The exchange rate itself is determined by the supply and demand for a currency much in the same way these two factors determine the price of goods such as better cars. Along the x-axis we have the quantity of the currency, in this case pounds, while along the y-axis you have the amount of whatever currency you are comparing it to per pound. The exchange rate is dependent on where supply and demand intersect. Thus, anything that would affect the supply or the demand of the currency would alter the exchange rate. When the exchange rate for currency increases, that currency has appreciated. In contrast, when the exchange rate decreases, that currency has depreciated. There are three main guidelines that can help determine when a scenario would cause a currency to appreciate or depreciate. We'll go over some examples using graphs in a little bit. When the demand for a country's currency increases, the currency will appreciate. When the demand for a country's currency decreases, the currency will depreciate. When the supply of a country's currency increases, the currency will also depreciate. When the supply of a country's currency decreases, the currency will appreciate. If one country's currency appreciates or depreciates, the other country's currency must do the opposite relative to it. Now we are going to get into the factors that shift supply and demand and by extension the exchange rate. Increase in preference for a particular product can cause changes into the exchange rate. For example, if the people in the U.S. decide they wanted more Nintendo game. This will cause the supply of the of U.S. dollars to shift to the right as more people would be providing U.S. dollars in the foreign exchange market in order to purchase the games. The demand for the Japanese yen would also shift to the right as there is now an increase in the number of people wanting the yen. As you can see, in this scenario, the U.S. dollar has depreciated while the Japanese yen has appreciated. Another factor that can affect the supply and demand of a currency is a change in wealth. Let's say that in the US, output increases, while in Canada, Canada, they experience a depression. The supply of the U.S. dollar in the foreign exchange market is going to increase because when consumption increases, it increases not only within the country, but also in terms of their imports as well. The demand for the Canadian dollar is going to increase as people in the U.S. import more goods as a result of their increase in spending. The end result is that the increase in wealth in the U.S. has caused their currency to depreciate while the Canadian dollar has appreciated relative to it. A change in relative price levels within a country can also affect the exchange rate. In this scenario, let's say the U.S. is experiencing 3% inflation, inflation, while in Europe they're experiencing 5% inflation. 
Because European goods are now relatively more expensive, demand for the euro is going to shift to the left, as fewer people will be willing to buy, buy goods from them. Meanwhile, the supply of the US dollar will also shift to the left, as fewer people will be providing their money in the foreign exchange market since buying goods from Europe is now relatively more expensive. As you can see, in this scenario, the US dollar has appreciated, while the euro has depreciated. Another factor that can cause a currency to appreciate or depreciate is changes in real interest rates. For example, let's say that the real interest rate in the UK is 5%, while in the US, it is only 4%. The demand for the British pound is going to increase as investors will invest their money in whichever country has the higher real interest rate. The supply of the US dollar in the foreign exchange market will also increase as investors exchange their money for pounds in order to get the higher interest rate. As a result, the US dollar has depreciated while the British pound has appreciated. Finally, the act of speculating, or buying and selling currency for a profit, can cause changes in the exchange rate. Let's say that speculators believe that the Mexican peso is going to appreciate relative to the Australian dollar. As speculators buy more pesos, this will increase the demand for the Mexican peso. The supply of the Australian dollar in the foreign exchange market will increase as speculators exchange their Australian dollars for pesos. As you can see, the mere act of speculating in the Mex that the Mexican peso will appreciate has caused it to appreciate. This has had the added consequence of causing the Australian dollar to depreciate relative to the peso. All right, everyone, that is all I have for you today, and I hope to see you next time.